Hello and welcome to a Sky Racing News update. We're in the lead up to the championships with day one to comprise of four Group 1s, the Doncaster, the TJ Smith, Australian Derby and Sires Produce Stakes. Godolphin looks set to have three runners in the Doncaster. Trainer John O'Shea has confirmed that Joe Marrera will ride impressive prelude winner Spectroscope. The French import has won his two starts down under. O'Shea says Spectroscope is still on his way up and isn't sure where he might finish on Saturday. James Doyle rides Haraki and Zach Persian will partner Ajax Stakes winner It Somewhat. I Am A Star lived up to her name in the Sunline Stakes at the Valley last Friday night and now her trainer Shane Nichols is planning to back her up. She's expected to carry 52 kilos when the weights go up. After a gallop at Mornington on Saturday, trainer Tony McAvoy is confident Haydock is in perfect order and that the Australian Guineas winner just needs to travel safe on Wednesday night and draw well to be right in the finish. The TJ Smith is another clash of the sprinting titans with the likes of Chautauqua, Fell Swoop, Russian Revolution, Terra Vista and Darren, just some of the big names entered. Ben Mellon will start his suspension for excessive whip use after this Saturday, but he's thrilled to get back aboard Malaguera. He won the Dali Classic and Australia Stakes when fresh and will come off a seven-week break between runs. Michael Moroni thinks a fresh Tavachi can cause an upset after he impressed in a jump out at at Flemington on Friday, while Astern went to Newcastle on Saturday in search of a good surface and is also ready to go first up. To the Sires and the Peter Morgan train, Sir is a late entry for the race with Stephen Bastard to ride and Paul Perry is considering a seven-day backup for the Colt The Mission. Meanwhile, unbeaten two-year-old Gunnison will be offered at the Chairman's Sale Session 1 for Elite Racing Prospects on Thursday, just days out from the Sires. Gunnison won the Todman Stakes last start, but as a gelding, James Harron has decided he doesn't fit his stallion portfolio. The country championships final will be another highlight on a huge 10 race card on Saturday. Hugh Bowman has picked up the ride on Perfect Dare, with trainer Matthew Dunn surprised that Jim Byrne has opted to stay in Brisbane. And don't miss Global Impact, Rise of the Japanese Thoroughbred. This one hour exclusive special takes you behind the scenes to reveal how Japan has risen from a racing minnow to become an international superpower. That's at 8.30 tonight on Sky Thoroughbred Central. That's Sky Racing News for now. I'm Gemma Cutting. More news on our website skyracing.com.au and follow us on social media.